All right, everybody, you're pretty much looking at the finished product of a water barrel holder here. We are going to come up with a system here where we lay these water barrels on here. This is on its side right now, but they're putting cross braces on. But once they get the cross braces done, they'll stand it up. Then we lay these barrels between these two runners. Each barrel goes, one barrel goes between there. Then we connect uh, on the barrels over here. We connect a uh, some PVC, looks like a little elbow here, going over to this barrel. And of course, this will be lined up at the bottom here. So this will be connected to that one. This one will have a T. Goes to each side, goes over to this one, and it has a T, and it goes over to this one. And it's actually going to have a, a T because we're going to have two sets of these. See, I got four brand new barrels here and I got four barrels over there. So this rack here that we just made holds uh, four barrels. And then right next to it, we will have uh, another rack exactly like this holding the other four. So they'll all be strung together uh, with the water line. And, uh, and, and then one of them will have a, uh, a, a valve on it coming out so that we can uh, put water in the I don't know where we put the valve oh right here we'll have a little water valve get it out of the bag here out of the bag and then uh, this water valve will come out of one of these here one of these guys like right here it'll actually come out of the elbow so there'll actually be a, a T here but but it'll be turned where one end goes in here one end goes in here and one end goes to the next barrel there and this will be here and then we'll put the water hose in up here and then we'll turn it, it on and it'll fill all of these eight barrels at one time and then when they want water for the cement they just turn this valve it fills up that bucket and then they go dump it into the cement uh, thing wherever they're mixing their cement. See the shovels are all cake coated with uh, you know, cement because that's what they mix it on. Also, never mix your cement on the ground. And the reason you never mix your cement on the ground is because this right here. The ground soaks up all the glue of the cement. It soaks up 20, 30, 40 percent of the glue and you wind up with a cemented section of, of ground. Then the cement you put on your house is missing all that glue that went into to the ground. So now your cement's like 30 percent weaker than what it should be. Alrighty, so, well as you can see we've, uh, you know, the last video we were making, I believe we were making these little uh, benches here or tables or supports here to hold these barrels. Well, we made one here that holds four barrels and we made another one over here that holds four barrels so total we got eight barrels but they're separated you can see right here there's a division there's a end in the beginning uh, and we're connecting all these here uh, with uh, the this poly tubing i guess it's poly uh, here we're connecting we had holes drilled in these caps uh, that screw in so like this this cap actually screws in here like that and then we put uh, a, a couple like a like a threaded thing through through here and then a piece of uh, blue uh, here on this here honey you want to hold that and all show it yeah so anyway we got one of these compression fi fittings this part here goes between the back up yeah right there and this part here goes uh, on the black holes connects the black hose to uh, connects to the black hose and then uh, this piece here has a threaded on one end and a slip on the, the, the other we actually just put it through here like this put some Teflon tape on there and then we screw this on and that holds this on to there and then we screw this into here basically down here and then we have our area to uh, our fittings like that to connect all the pipes so whenever we're going to fill these tanks up we can fill eight tanks at one time uh, that's our intention instead of having to just fill one at a time we'll fill all eight at one time uh, and then we'll have enough water for doing a lot of cement uh, work 
So we'll fill it in the top hole, but because they're all connected, they're all going to fill up at the same time. And then we got a, a faucet down here that we just turn on and the water comes out and they can fill up their cement. Uh, all right, so we're going to uh, just get the little PVC glue here and put on this guy here. And a little PVC and put it on the, the inside of this guy here, right there. And then we will uh, just slide this bad boy in with a little twist. That one's glued. Now we uh, do the same thing with the valve here. Put a little PVC glue on the inside of this guy. A little bit of PVC glue on the outside. Be sure to get plenty of glue on them. I say a little bit, but really you want to, you know, don't want to miss in any spots because uh, you're really not in this for having leaks. There we go. Now we got the valve on. And that's pretty much the end of this section here. And then we're just going to repeat all this for the next four, for the next four uh, tanks that we hook up. The other four tanks are down here. We've just been using these standing up and having to siphon out of them. Well, that's a lot of trouble because you can only siphon down to about a third and then you can't siphon no more because, you know, your bucket is that tall. So you can't siphon lower than that. So we can never use the whole bucket. So this way we'll be able to drain it down pretty much to the to the dregs, to, down to the bottom of the bucket and uh, be able to use 100% uh, of the water or at least 98%. All right, here we are. We've got uh, our water system getting set up right now. We've got these four barrels connected, uh, and we'll start filling them up with that water hose there as soon as water pressure comes on, about 11 o'clock at night. We put that hose in the top here, and then it slowly fills all these up. Uh, we have to connect these last four here. We, we haven't got them connected yet. Uh, it's kind of the end of the day, so we decided to wrap it up. We've been working pretty hard. We're pretty well beat. So uh, tomorrow we'll hook the rest of these guys up, and uh, then we'll be able to fill all these up, and we'll have eight barrels worth of water for mixing cement when we start to build the house and uh, bungalow.